Hi, my first hour class. This problem in front of you is problem number 22 on page 358. And I wanted to go through it step by step with you to show you one of the more complex two-step variables on both side problems. And what makes this complex is that you do have to find common denominators, which you know how to do. So let's look at the first step. When we go from this top line, which is the problem in the book, right here, and we look at that, we notice we have thirds and sixths. So the very first step is that we convert all of our fractions that have an x to the same denominator. And so I turned negative one-third into two-sixths. So the next step, we combine negative two-sixths with a positive five-sixths and that will leave us with a positive 3, 6x plus 2 on the first side of the equation. Now we need to combine this 3, 6x and this 1, 6x in order to get our x on both sides. So I'm going to subtract this 1, 6x right here and do that from both sides. So you can see the next line we've done that. 1 6 x off of both sides, right here and here. And so after that, 3 6 x minus your 1 6 x leaves us with 2 6 x plus 2. We can't forget this number here. And then on the other side of the equation, we'll just have negative 1 half. And one of the things that we have to do is keep track of our negative signs and not lose them. So the next step is to move this two to the right so that all of our numbers can be on the same side of the equal sign. So in order to do that, I'm going to subtract two from both sides. Okay. So I have negative one-half minus two. But we know that whenever you see a um, subtraction sign, you add the opposite. So the next step, I've canceled out two minus 2 on the left-hand side, and then I have to change negative 1 half minus 2 to negative 1 half plus a negative 2. So it's starting to look like something I can work with. Negative, or excuse me, positive 2, 6x equals negative 2 and 1 half x when we combine those terms. Now I'm going to multiply both sides by the multiple of inverse. So I've got 6 halves being the multiplicative inverse of 2 6. So I'll times both sides by 6 halves. So this would cancel 6 times 2 is 12, 2 times 6 is 12. So this section right here becomes 1. 1 times x is x. So I've solved the left-hand side of the equation. Now I have 2 and a half x times 6 halves. I need to change this mixed number back into uh, improper fraction. So on this step, I've changed that to negative 5 halves. Again, don't forget the negative sign, times 6 halves, which gives us negative 34, which we can simplify to negative 15 halves, and then further simplified to negative 7 and 1 half. Now you'll notice that I didn't do the check problem on this particular slide. If I was going to do the check problem, I think I would leave it in fraction form because that will help me when I'm trying to find common denominators. If you choose to use negative seven and a half, that's fine, just you'll probably turn it back into an improper fraction at some time. So this is problem number 22 on page 358. Part of your assignment for tonight is going to be to do the check problem to make sure that you understand how to correct a problem. So first of all, copy the steps that I have down, make sure that you understand them completely, and then just do the second half of the problem. Just put in negative 15 halves wherever you see the x up here in the original problem. Again, this is problem number 22, and we're on page 358. Thanks for your time. I hope this helps.